but the small talk much review. Sponsored by Belden Timber. More than just Hello and welcome to another edition of Bantam Small Talk. Sponsored by Build and Timber. More than just good wood. First of all, I just want to do a quick review on our on our first opening game against Saturday last Saturday on the third against Cambridge United. At home at Valley Parade. First of all, I was really, really, really looking forward to the game because it's seen absolutely age ago since the end of last season, despite the bitter disappointment of relegation. Within the club, things seem a lot happier now, and once again, we seem to finally have our club's identity back. We've got the Real City back, and we seem to have players that want to play for the club, and seem to be a lot more better quality than last season. Um, as far as the game went on Saturday, I thought in the first half, we're extremely unlucky not to score. Yeah, we had 22 sh- throughout the match. We had what 22 shots on, but only three on target, but. That's, that would unlucky really, because some of them shots really were, should have gone in. Especially the overhead kick by Vaughan. Uh, I thought we looked fast. I thought we looked to play some great passing passing skills. And we looked so, more or less we looked solid at the back. It was just, we just lacked that final killer touch to put it back in the net, which, yeah, it was frustrating and maybe it a little bit concerning. But it's only the first game and Gary Bauer and the lads will work on it and I don't think it's anything really much, too much to worry about. Keep playing like that. I thought we, thought we looked absolutely brilliant in, in patches, but we just need to be able to put those patches together more and play that, play at that rate on a more consistent basis. Uh, yeah, on the second half, hopefully we didn't attack as much as we hoped. Especially, we should have taken. Okay, we should have taken advantage against ten, ten men. But you know, football's like that, and they get. It's a, it's a, it's our new players. Lads, it's the lads' first game, so you got to give them time. It might, might, might take a, f- a few games get them to properly gel and work out which is the best starting eleven. Whether that's, whether that's starting Scannell, I don't know. But um, I thought Vaughan and Donaldson at looks, they looked really good quality. With uh, Vaughan's overhead kick, as I say, just. Oof, it's in about. I really thought that were in. That were extremely unlucky. That could have been. If that had gone in, it would have been a completely different game. So I'm absolutely surprised how some people were more than that were played rubbish. Got to give them a chance, guys. And even though we didn't show as much attacking potential in the second half, we were far from bad. And our defence looks a lot better. Yeah, we made a, the mistake a few times, but we're not going to be perfect all the time. And obviously, there's some people you'll never please, but. From what I saw Saturday, yeah, there's room for there's room for improvement. Of course there is. Not saying there isn't, but I'm sure Gary will get it better or get the lads going and they'll, they'll work on what they can the areas that they can improve on. But definitely more positives from Saturday than than negatives, and a lot better than last season. Uh, going on to the badges that I made for the Bradford City DFC. Thank you to the people that bought one on Saturday. Uh, I saw probably. Eight Saturday, a couple of the other weeks, so that's ten gone already. I shall keep trying to sell them, plugging them, advertising them, taking a few tonight to a meeting that I've been invited to, and it's a pleasure to trade money for the club. For the, as I say, sometimes you've got to do your talking on and off the pitch for the, and I'm glad to do that for Bradford City Disability FC because. Um, unfortunately, I can't play in all league fixtures due to work, but I do, as I say, hope to play more this year than last year and contribute towards assisting my teammates, first of all, to, f- to let them score goals, create creating chances for them, and then, if and when I can, score any few myself, and I hope to score more than last year. Uh, but one of my favourite goals from last year was the last league games I could have played in. Uh, managed to score a couple, two or three goals, and but one of them was from okay, yeah, it was six side pitch, but from the halfway line, poof, went flying in. I think uh, I shocked myself and I shocked everybody on that pitch, and not just on my own teammates. But once again, it's a team game, and as long as I can create assists and pass to my teammates for them to score, then that's fine by me. Uh, as, but going back to the badges, as I said, thank you to those who have purchased one so far. I know there's people still wanting them, so I'll get it to you as soon as I can. And as I said, um, I promised that I'd 
give raffle tickets out with the first 30 to 50 sold and they will win a £10 club shop voucher. So I've just been down to the club shop today. I've got a player's name on my back. Let's see if you can guess who. So leave your comments in which which new current Bradford City player have I gone down and got on, got on the back of my shirt today. Uh, so going back to the voucher, been down. So there's £10 on this gift card, which I've do donated myself. I'll, I'll take out the postage and then put the tenner back in towards this so whichever raffle ticket wins will win this £10 club shop voucher to be able to spend as and, as and when they want so once again th guys thanks for buying it thanks for supporting this fantastic club it's a pleasure to play, be, able, be able to play for a breath today yes I know it's a disability team but we're still part of the club and it's an express thing to play in for the club because I regret not being able to play for the first team but you know, that's life, that's football. So, we've got screens for next Saturday. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a ticket. So, my next away game, hopefully, will be crew away. I've been there a few times. Let's see what happens this weekend. But, as I say, as from Saturday, definitely more positives to be seen than negatives. And we showed, at times, we showed real potential. Just to be able to show that potential more and for more minutes of the game. But... You know, we're not going to be able to play fantastic every single minute of the game. Football's football and we will make mistakes, but our mistakes don't seem to be nowhere near as massive or as big as last year. So I'm confident from the first game that we can push on, improving the areas that we need to improve on our shooting and hit the back of the net, especially Vaughan. So that's another edition of Band Small Talk, sponsored by Building Timber. That's more than just Goodwood.